So that's one Indian neighbor in trouble, but the list doesn't end there. Another one, Myanmar, faces a different challenge, that of a civil war. Myanmar's ruling junta is fighting ethnic rebel groups, and they're not doing well. The junta keeps losing soldiers and land, so India is worried. It shares a pretty long border with Myanmar, some 1,600 kilometers of it, the India-Myanmar border, 1,600 kilometers. So New Delhi is worried of a spillover, which is why it has taken a controversial decision. India has decided to fence its border with Myanmar. Myanmar ke saath hamari sima, jo khuli sima hai, Narendra Modi sarkar ne nirnay kara hai ke Bharat Myanmar sima ko hum baad se surakshit karenge और पूरी सीमा पर बांग्लादेश की तर्ज पर बाढ़ लगाने का काम करेंगे और म्यांमार के साथ हमारा फ्री आवाजाही का जो एग्रीमेंट है ये एग्रीमेंट पर भी भारत सरकार पुनः विचार कर रही है जस्ट वन प्रॉब्लम दो सम इंडियन स्टेट्स आर नॉट ऑन बोर्ड the Mizoram Assembly has passed a resolution against it. They want the centre to reconsider. They do not want a border fence. Nagaland is also against the proposal. They haven't passed a resolution yet, but the Deputy Chief Minister said it would be unacceptable. I guess the question is why. Here's what Mizoram's Home Minister says, and I'm quoting, the British geographically divided the Zo ethnic people who have inhabited Mizoram and the Chin Hills of Myanmar for centuries together. We have been dreaming of reunification and cannot accept the India-Myanmar border imposed upon us. So that's the issue. Border communities in India have families on the other side. They like being able to visit each other. And this is guaranteed under the current system. The system is called the F FMR, the Free Movement Regime, FMR. And what does it say? Suppose you live near the India-Myanmar border. You can travel up to 16 kilometers inside the other country from India to Myanmar and from Myanmar to India, 16 kilometers on either side. You can stay there for a limited time and that too without a visa. Mizoram and Nagaland want to keep it that way. Two other northeastern states do not want it. That's Manipur and Arunachal Pradesh. They want the border to be fenced. Again, let's look at why. Problem number one is the civil war. It has forced thousands of Myanmar nationals to flee. Since 2021, around 31,000 31, people from Myanmar have arrived in India. Out of this, 5,000 arrived after the recent clashes in the last few months. Manipur is especially not happy with this. The state of Manipur has been gripped by ethnic violence since last year. Its chief minister says the free movement regime has not helped them. So he's got two demands. One fence the border, and two, cancel or modify the free movement regime. And you can understand why. The situation in Manipur is already sensitive. The last thing you want is outside influence, like Myanmar groups using the free movement regime to enter Manipur, or rebel weapons being sneaked into the state. Now, problem number two, drug smuggling. Myanmar is the largest opium poppy producer. It's a hub for drugs like heroin and meth. A lot, of his, a lot of it is now coming to India. Last week, a major drug ring was busted in Mizoram. Drugs worth three crore rupees were seized. Six peddlers were also held. Among them, four were from Myanmar. In fact, Mizoram seems to be the new focus because smugglers used to take the Manipur route, but the violence has forced them to look for alternatives and they've settled on Mizoram. And data supports this. In 2023, Mizoram arrested 385 people for smuggling drugs. 55 of them were from Myanmar. So clearly there is a problem and chances are it will get worse. Because the civil war is not de-escalating. Yes, the junta has suffered some losses, but they're not giving up. In the east, they have put two cities under martial law. All powers have been granted to soldiers. The idea is to stamp out any dissent, to nip any rebellion in the bud. So India is right to prepare for the chaos in Myanmar. The only question is, how do they do it? Because a porous border is risky during times of conflict. If the civil war escalates, things may spiral out of control. At the same time, ethnic ties are important. They're a key aspect of relations between India and Myanmar. They're also necessary for internal peace. It's definitely a tough balance. 
So striking it requires engagement and cooperation.